YouTube, and welcome to another edition of Cooking in Lingerie with Missy. I'm just kidding. Well, I'm not really kidding. This is lingerie, but like from the 60s, and it's like way more covering than what uh, people wear walking down the street these days. So anyways, I always, when I'm doing a cooking video, I'm in my kitchen, obviously, which is the only white room in my house and is boring as fuck. But I usually get it filthy. I usually am throwing like food all over the walls and being like a crazy mad scientist cook, so it's not really a good idea to make it like fancy and dark like the rest of my house. So here it is, boring white, we're in the kitchen. And today we are going to make homemade eggnog or goth nog because I plan on adding activated charcoal to it to make it black, which is gonna be super fun. I have A, never made eggnog before, B, never used activated charcoal before. So hopefully it's gonna be a good time. Hopefully it's gonna turn out really well and I don't blow everything up and make it taste like shit, but we shall see. But um, I always cook in my pajamas or in a vintage Pinoir set or something like that. I never cook with my clothes on because I end up getting like really messy and I still have to go to work after this. So I don't wanna get like weird egg and milk all over my clothes and then have to go to work. So I can just get this all dirty, put on some clothes, head out the door. And then after I'm done this tonight, after it's chilled in the fridge all day, we're going to try it tonight and hopefully it is not disgusting. We shall see. So I have all of this stuff. I found a recipe on how to make homemade eggnog. I have a lot of things here. I have a metal bowl. I have six eggs in this bowl, which you can't really see, but I promise you there's six eggs in there. We got milk. We got cream. We've got some measuring cups, various measuring cups. It said sugar, but I don't have any sugar. So we're using Splenda. Hopefully that doesn't screw anything up. I have cinnamon and nutmeg and ginger couple of more measuring spoons and stuff, activated charcoal, and a blender. It said to mix it by hand. Fuck that noise. I'm not doing it. It's time consuming and I'm not doing it. So these are the things. So first, apparently I've got my pan over here on the stove. First, we have to heat uh, two cups of milk and two cups of cream in the pan with one teaspoon of each of the spices. So milk, here we go. Two cups, approximately. I hope this isn't one of those things that, uh, it gets screwed up if you don't measure it exactly because when I cook like none of my measuring is ever accurate. It's sort of like that's close enough. Whatever. I don't care. Opening the cream. Approximately two cups. Spices. Again, approximate. Oh my god, I just broke my fingernail off so it's really hard to open these spice jars. Nope. Fuck. Oh well. Belongs to the floor now. Okay. So we're gonna work on heating that up. Something smells weird. I really hope it's not the burner and not what I just put in here because if it smells weird already, like we're in trouble. All right, that's all mixed. Okay, now we have to beat apparently three quarters of a cup sugar, or Splenda in this case, with six egg yolks, which means I have to separate the eggs, which I hate doing. So we'll see, hopefully I don't screw that up. So this is the point in the video that should probably tell you that I don't actually like eggnog. I think it's fucking disgusting, but Brody really likes eggnog, and I thought that I would be a nice person for once in my life, which I can occasionally be, although, like, don't tell anybody, it'll ruin my reputation. So anyways, I'm being a nice person, and I'm making him eggnog because he really, really enjoys it, and we usually buy store-bought stuff for him, but, like, I thought I would try to make it this year. Oh, God, this is gonna be awful. Oh, shit. Fucking yolk broke into here. God damn it, God damn it. Okay. Well, I fucked that up. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. I'm gonna just get rid of this, I guess. Brody can have scrambled eggs, maybe. Okay, let's try that again. Hopefully I don't break the friggin' things. I guess we're having scrambled eggs for dinner. We're already doing better than last time. Six, I did it, oh my God, yay! Oh, that was awful. I'm gonna stir this. That's starting to steam. It smells nice, not gross, which is good. So I have to put this. No, egg yolks. I have to put this in with this and beat it around. This is like weird yellow sugar paste. Yellow sugar paste accomplished. We have to put that in here apparently. We have to put it in like a little at a time. And Well, there's some milk on my nightgown. That's exactly why I don't cook with clothes on. I think this video should be called Missy Attempts to Cook and just makes weird faces. Cool. Next step. Take your egg whites and mix apparently 
three quarters of a teaspoon of sugar and then you like beat the hell out of it until it becomes stiff like as if you're making ah fuck approximate it's approximate it's fine let's uh i don't know whatever it's probably more than three quarters of a teaspoon but whatever i'm doing this with a blender a mixer not a blender Plug. okay let's check it is this stiff peaks this isn't really stiff peaks, but like my fucking arm is tired. So that's what we're getting. So yeah, this is not, this is not stiff peaks. This is soft peaks, but like whatever, fucking whatever. I don't care. Okay. Where'd my spatula go? I think I threw it in the sink. Get another spatula. Okay. It says to add this to this now again. And uh, hopefully, hopefully it's going to be fine. I don't know. I guess it's kind of stiff. It's kind of stiff. Whatever. Okay. I just put it in like okay that's weird that's super weird I don't know what it's doing I hope I didn't fuck it up maybe I have to add it in with a blender this isn't part of the recipe I'm gonna try the blender well it's mostly smooth I just gotta add in the rest of it it's looking fucking weird hang on a second see if I can show you with the camera okay so here it is so far um, I don't know, it's browner than it was in the picture, but, uh, maybe I added too much spice than I was supposed to, but, uh, Mad Max, whatever, whatever. So I've got the rest of the, this to add, I added most of it, but, uh, I'm gonna put that in there and blend the fuck out of it and see what happens. Okay, we're back. Last bit. Going in. Mad Max. I'd also like to point out that there was egg all over me and all over my kitchen. Not gonna lie, this looks more like soup than a drink, but anyways. Yeah, using the mixer at that point was not part of the recipe, but I want to make sure it was nice and smooth because like chunks of egg weird me the fuck out. So let's see how much of this to add. That's this will spice. No, we don't want spice. Huh. It doesn't say. It does not say how much of this to add, so we're gonna wing it. Okay, let's just add. I don't know that much. Ah. Oh God, it's bubbling. I'm just gonna turn that off. See if you can see this here. This is my goth nog coming together here. Well, that's just a weird form of gross. We're gonna clearly have to add more. It's not going very black. It just keeps turning grayer. I sure hope this isn't gross, I don't know. This is seriously Mad Max eggnog over here, kids. Well, I don't know. That might be as black as it's gonna get. It's dark gray, that's probably fine. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, welcome to the end of this part. I have a jug. Uh, we have to chill this. It says two to three hours, but I'm going to work. So we're gonna chill it till the end of the day. And then I'm gonna make Brody try it. Um, the kitchen is an absolute disaster. I have milk and egg all over my clothes and I have some form of weird dark gray you can see that weird dark gray goth nog. I don't know, but it's going in this jug. And I'm gonna chill it. And then I'm gonna make Brody try it tonight. Hopefully it is not disgusting, although I don't like eggnog in the first place, so we'll see. Smells good, the pan smells good. Okay, see you in several hours. Welcome back, it is after work time. I am here with festive Brody in his Santa hat. And uh, it is the moment of truth. We're gonna try the eggnog I made this morning. Ew, eggnog. Yeah, I made it just for you, so. <laughs> I would also like to say for the record that uh, this morning went perfectly fine and there were no major hitches and it all went smoothly and there is nothing suspicious about that. So, okay, are you ready? What do you mean there's nothing suspicious about that? There's nothing happened. Everything was perfectly fine. The eggnog went well. What are you feeding me? Uh, water, apparently. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> what is... Why is it so thick? Why is it black? Maybe I have to add milk to it. Oh, oh no. Oh, no, 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 no. Shh. <laughs> Why is it black? Eggnog is supposed to be yellow. It's goth nog. I added charcoal to it, but it kind of turned gray. <laughs> we might, uh, 
I think I'm gonna have to add milk to this. <laughs> oh my god, I have to wash my hands. Hang on. This is terrible. Oh my god, it's terrible. Boom. Why did it get so thick? Okay, we're back. I have some milk. We're gonna thin this out because it's terrible. Why is it so thick? I followed the recipe. Except for the charcoal. Shut up. Charcoal is what makes it gothy. Uh-huh. I'm stirring the milk in. This is the impending sense of doom. That seems better. Uh-huh. <laughs> it maybe I think I need to add more milk. Oh god. <laughs> it's definitely more pourable. <laughs> Converting from <laughs> a solid to a liquid is called. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, good add more milk. I regret nothing. <laughs> Shut up. It's totally fine. This is totally I'll be fine. It'll be fine. It's totally fine. It's supposed to be black. So Thick we are going to <laughs> So we are going to add rum to this then? Do you want Most to, likely. Do you want no, to try I, I will try it without the rum okay. first. We'll try it without the rum. I don't even like eggnog, so like Okay. <laughs> Ready? Look. Look how creamy. Ooh, look at it pour. For you. Oh, my track. <laughs> Should have poured my That was a chunk. Out. That was a freaking chunk. <laughs> Maybe I <laughs> Maybe I didn't stir it enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready? Okay, so as a director, I want you to give me abject terror. Go. <laughs> Okay, goth nog. <laughs> okay. If I die, you can have my stuff. Okay. If I die, oh, you can't. Oh, it's bubbling. See, look, it's about to break that bubble. It's wonderful. Chaz. Chaz, fuck face. <laughs> <laughs> Wonk. Okay, ready? <laughs> I should have known you wouldn't like it because it was gray. <laughs> you were the one that wouldn't eat the purple ketchup. Oddly enough, they both had the same consistency. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. One, two, Checkers. three. Well, it's horrible. Oh! <laughs> Wasn't expecting to chew. Does it taste like anything? Nope. Like chunky? Nope. <laughs> it doesn't. It, it it really doesn't. Um, it tastes like pudding? Flour in water. There's no flour in it. I believe you. But it tastes like it. It's bubble like it's bubbling. Look. <laughs> well, It tastes like a little bit custardy, but maybe the charcoal made it. <laughs> <laughs> rum is not going to make this better. Rum is not going to make this better. It, I don't say. I this say we, is thick. This is like. It was pretty thick. It's pretty thick. So I say we skip the eggnog and just drink rum. I'm gonna have to agree. Um, a valiant effort, but I tried. I don't know if the charcoal fucked it up or like if it was just a bad recipe. I followed the recipe, honest to God, except for putting the charcoal in it and also using the electric mixer in the pan. Well, I don't think using the electric mixer would have done anything. Uh, is it possible it might be because of the sweetener rather than sugar? Maybe. I did use Splenda instead of sugar, but like you wouldn't think that would do this. I don't know, it fucks with baking. Anyways, we're not going to drink the rest of this. I, I almost want to try it again, but you know what it reminds me of? What? It would be the consistency of... Yop? Pressed... I don't like the start Brussels sprouts. Like, <laughs> crushed. What? Like, cook Brussels sprouts until they're so soft they mush in your fingers and then... Smash them and then put them in a glass. 
I would also like to point out that you can see that it's beginning to get layers <laughs> in the cup. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, thank you for the effort. I appreciate it. I like eggnog. We'll just buy you eggnog from I the store from like now on. <laughs> this. I, I don't, don't know like it what either. this is. I'm sure it was. It started out as eggnog. Maybe you can kind of taste the nog. Taste the nog in it. <laughs> I... Doing it again. <laughs> it's not any. It's not any better the second time. Now we're just drinking rum. Okay. All right. Give me the rum. Mm. Give me the rum. Rum cleanses. Alcohol is a cleanser. You wouldn't think that would taste better, right? But it does. Yeah, straight rum is better than is better than this eggnog, ladies and gentlemen. But anyway, my advice to you is never make this. Do not follow this recipe that I told you earlier. Don't do it. I don't know what or went wrong. Or if you do, don't add charcoal. I don't know that that's what did it. Anyways, or make it for your enemies at Christmas. This would be a great gift for someone you really dislike. So, anyways, there you go. There you go, Missy, making goth egg dog and inflicting it on my poor partner. Anyways, if you liked watching us suffer, please give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to watch us suffer some more in future videos, or maybe my cooking skills will improve, I don't know. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with your I don't know what happened. Your Anyways, cooking's great, this is... Thank you. Not great. Not great. Abominable. It's true. If you want to follow me on social media, I'm under Madame underscore Absinthe on Instagram and Twitter. Brody is under <laughs> Misanthropist on Instagram and Twitter. It's Misanthro, P-I-S-S-E-G with an underscore at the end. And uh, yeah, so please like, please subscribe, follow us if you want to, and hopefully we will make better tasting cooking <laughs> videos for you shortly. Here, okay, I just want to get a, like a close-up of this. Oh, it's beginning to thicken up again. You this know what is... it looks like? Mushroom soup. It does look like mushroom soup. Chunky.